What's up blockheads and welcome to part three of the How to Ride series. I made episodes one and two long ago. The channel has come a long way since those episodes. They are some of my like top most played from everybody that's looking to learn how to ride motorcycles. You guys have really responded well to those episodes. I've had an absolute ton of requests to film a third episode, continuing to go over how to ride and focusing on how to use the clutch, shifting, and throttle that whole relationship. So in the last episode, it was basically like kind of like an introduction to clutch throttle and shifting. So this episode, we're gonna continue and we're gonna go a little bit more advanced. I'm gonna take you guys through all the gears, accelerating, going up, and then I'm gonna take you guys through all the gears, decelerating, coming down. From neutral to first gear, up to fifth, and then from fifth down to first and back into neutral. Before I get too far into this video, you guys be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like motorcycle content, hit that bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. If you guys are just seeing this video, but you haven't watched the previous ones, I would recommend watching those before watching this one if you're new to this, just because they kind of build upon one another. Also, like I said, the channel has uh, grown quite a bit since I filmed those first two videos. The community has shown me a lot of support, so I'm trying to basically give back to the community. And we have this thing that we've started up called the Blockhead Bike Build. So I basically buy a motorcycle, I build it out, modify it, and then I give it away. If you guys are interested in getting in on that, you guys can join in at the link down below or at patreon.com slash blockheadmoto. So as of me filming this, we're in the third season. I'm giving away a Harley Davidson Sportster 48, and then the next bike will be something even bigger and better. So you guys be sure to go check that out and join up to continue to support the creation of content. And if you want the chance to possibly win a motorcycle or some other cool gear. So in my initial walk around, you guys are probably seeing these zip ties on the clutch lever and on the throttle. You're saying you got zip ties holding your bike together? No. So basically the reason I have these is to provide a visual cue to you guys if you need them. I learn better visually. I don't know how well they're gonna work though. So when I'm pulling back on throttle, you guys will basically be able to see, as per this, that I'm pulling back on throttle, right? Now this one, it's a little harder to see just because it's over my arm. The bars are higher than they were in the first couple of videos. There's a long story behind this bike. I actually sold it, and then the person that bought it traded it back in, and I bought it back. I was without this bike for a while, so the person that had it after me put these taller bars on it. Before you guys all ask, this bike, it's a Harley-Davidson Iron 883. So the zip ties are basically meant to provide like a visual aid so that you can see what my hands are doing, because you can't really like see whenever I go to grab the clutch lever and pull it in. So whenever I'm pulling this in, you'll basically see this one move like that, and you'll be able to see this one move. I will explain to the best of my knowledge all of this as I'm doing it. At some point, I'm gonna angle the camera downwards so that you guys can hopefully see everything happening at once. You'll be able to see my hands and you'll be able to see my foot, you know, shifting. Just to preface it as well, sorry guys, I know I'm talking a lot, but there's a lot of information that I need to get in here. Like I said in my other videos, I am not a motorcycle instructor. I have previously been an instructor, but I was an instructor of firearms. So I do have some instructor experience. A lot of you guys have said in the first couple videos that I should be a motorcycle instructor because you were able to understand my teaching style better than like some of your MSF coaches and stuff like that. But letting you guys know, my ways may not be the MSF like certified way or anything like that. So on that note, biggest piece of advice to learn to ride a motorcycle is to look into the MSF course, which stands for the Motorcycle Safety Foundation. I have talked about this in the previous videos. You guys be sure to visit the link down in the description below. I'll link to the MSF website. I'll link to the MSF Rider's Manual. You guys look through that. It is a absolute wealth of information. Try to find a MSF class near you, sign up for it, go take the class, and it will teach you all of this stuff. Wherever you are in the world, it might not be called MSF, it might be called something else, but anyways, here we are. That's a little disclaimer. I guess first and foremost, I should explain 
the gears, the transmission. So this is a, like I said, a Harley Davidson Iron 883, only has five gears. So bikes will usually have anywhere between like four and six gears. Like a Honda Grom that I have, it has four gears. This one has five. I do have another Harley that has six gears. I've had sport bikes that have had six gears. It's pretty much all gonna be the same from bike to bike in terms of shifting through them. I'll show a chart right here. So at the very bottom, you have first gear. One step up from that, you have neutral or half shift. And then the next step up, up shift, is second gear, and then third gear, and then fourth gear, and then fifth gear. Why they have it like that, I'm not really sure. Neutral on motorcycles is in between first and second gear. Some people have said they do it like that because whenever you're in neutral and you're at a stop, it's easier to basically stomp down on the shift lever to get into first to go. So it's a little more intuitive. If you're ever in a situation where you need to quickly go, it's easier than having to put your foot underneath and pull it up. So it's a faster response, which I can kind of see and understand, but I'm not an engineer. I didn't make the transmission, <laughs> so I can't really give you a solid answer there. I've had a lot of you guys ask a question like, can you go from fifth gear down to third gear? Yes, you can, but you have to go through each one of those gears. You can't skip over them, meaning you have to go, if you're going from fifth to second, you have to go five, four, three, two. You can't go from five to two. You don't have to engage or let go of the clutch lever in those gears that you're passing through but you do have to go through them. It's not like a stick shift car where you can go from fifth and then go into second. So you can't skip over all those. You have to go through them. I hope that kind of helps make sense to you guys. So on most bikes, that's gonna be the way it is. I'm not gonna get into what they call GP shift, flips it around where you pull one up and you go four or five down. So you're basically downshifting to shift up. That's GP shift. That's with like sport bikes, race bikes, stuff like that. With most normal motorcycles, you're gonna go one down, five up or one down four up so if you've ever heard that expression like one down four up or one down five up that's what it means remember one down four up just so everyone knows one down four up all right starting it up pull the clutch in make sure you're neutral kick stands up starting the bike so going from neutral pulling in the brake pulling in on clutch and I'm gonna press down into first gear. So like I said on this, first gear is down, neutral is the next up, and then you have second. So from here, I could either pull up into second gear or I can push down into first gear. I'm gonna pull the clutch lever in, press down. And when I do that, this little neutral light is gonna go off. All right, so you hear that click, that means I'm currently in first gear. Now there are some bikes that have gear indicators. This one does not, so you just have to you have to remember it. You have to know what gear you're in. You have to know where you're at. After you ride for a while, you will develop a feel for it. So I'm in first gear right now. I'm gonna slowly ease off of the clutch lever. And we're moving. All right, so I'm gonna slowly release out on the clutch lever while pulling back on throttle. Hand is off clutch. So now you guys hear it's revving up, so I need to shift into second gear. So in order to shift into second gear, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the clutch in, I'm gonna let go of the throttle and pull up into second. So let go of throttle, clutch in, pull up into second. I'm done there, then I'm gonna start slowly coming back on throttle while slowly letting out on the clutch lever. And there you go, I'm in second gear. Every other gear change is exactly like that. Same, same process. Now I'm doing it slowly, basically to show you guys, but as you get more comfortable, you can speed that up. You hear it revving higher, I basically need to shift into third, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let go of the throttle, pull back on the clutch lever, shift up into third, and then start pulling back on throttle while slowly letting out on clutch. And now we're in third gear. same thing here first gear off the throttle on clutch up shift back on throttle off the clutch we're in second gear gonna shift up to third off throttle pulling clutch shift up to third back on throttle off the clutch and this is all just like like I said in the second video this is all just like this motion, right? You're pulling in while pulling back. It's this, that motion right there. By doing that, even if you're not on a motorcycle, you develop muscle memory. So that's what it is right there. It's like back. 
saying like now I'm in fifth gear, right? So to downshift, you're gonna pull in, shift down, slowly release. Pull in, shift down, slowly release. Pull in, shift down, slowly release. The bike is basically, it's pushing me back. That's what we call engine braking, right? So I'm using basically the gearing and the transmission and the relationship of the transmission to the engine to basically brake for me, which is pretty cool and it's incredibly useful. All right, shifting into second. Shifting into third. So I'm gonna go from third to fourth. So I'm pulling back on throttle, increasing speed. In clutch, off throttle, up into fourth. On throttle, off a of clutch. I'll try to have maybe some kind of visual assistance on the screen while doing this too. Like I said, I learn good visually, so I'm assuming there's lots of you guys out there that learn well visually also. So I'll try to think of some way to like kind of communicate that as I'm doing all this stuff because it sounds like a lot at first, but as you do it, as you get more comfortable with it, like I said, it becomes muscle memory. So like downshifting right now, every time you shift, you want to come off of the throttle. So off throttle, in on clutch, downshift, release that, and then I can basically continue in third. Same with the next gear. Off a of throttle, in on clutch, downshift, and I'm in second. And then you can go from there. And you want to be in the correct gear for your speed. So like right now, I'm going like 25 miles an hour. I think I'm in second gear. I know I'm probably more towards the next gear than I am the gear below. If I downshift right now, the bike's gonna wanna kinda throw me forward because I'm in the wrong gear, right? So I'll do that real quick just to show you guys. So off throttle, in on clutch, downshift. See that? I could tell that the speed wasn't gonna be right. So it slowed me down, but it also kinda made me lurch forward. So we're in first gear right now. I'm gonna shift into second, so off throttle, on clutch, shift into second, on throttle, off clutch, off throttle, on clutch, shift into third, on throttle, off clutch, off throttle, on clutch, shift into fourth, back on throttle, off throttle, on clutch, shift into fifth, on throttle, release clutch. Right, so see right now, the bike is kind of, it's kind of uh, lugging, right? I'm not supposed to be in fifth gear at like 40 miles an hour. So I'm gonna downshift. So off throttle, on clutch, downshift, back on throttle, off a of clutch. And this is about the right gear. I could actually probably be in third gear too. There you go. So you can do all this stuff at a pretty low speed, like between like first, second gear and that stuff, right? But I'm gonna show you guys on this stretch of road how it is getting up into higher speeds. And then we should have some more time between shifts to be able to show you guys that. And then maybe I can also show you guys some engine braking. All right, so we're in first. In second. In third. In fourth. In fifth. I need to be slowing down, so I'm gonna apply some brake. Downshift, blip. I'm using engine braking right now. See, it pushes me back. That's probably like one of the next, howdy. That's probably like one of the next videos or so, like kind of explaining what engine braking is to you guys. All right, so first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. So you guys see how much faster it is whenever it's it's all the same equation i'm doing exactly what i said earlier when i was kind of talking about doing it slower i'm basically coming off of the throttle very quickly i'm pulling the clutch in very quickly and i'm shifting and all that's happening within what like a second right it's the same when downshifting you just kind of have to get all that equation like those those are all relative to one another right off throttle on clutch shifting up on throttle, off a of clutch. So you basically don't want to be pulling this back whenever you pull the clutch back, because if you do, this will happen. See, you don't want that to happen. You're basically like revving out the engine. There's a disconnect between the transmission and the engine, and you rev up. Nothing will happen. That's how people like rev bomb and stuff, right? I mean, so if you're going under an overpass and you want to rev bomb, you pull that in, pull that back, and that's a rev bomb. Pull off here for a second, let this car behind me get away from me. 
Okay, so we've been talking about going through the gears, but if you're coming to a stop, you want to shift into neutral, right? Like I said, neutral is above first, but below second. So right now I'm in first gear. So to get into that, that's what we call a half shift, right? So you want to come off a throttle, basically pull the clutch lever in, and you're not going to fully pull up. You're going to half shift up. So that's like kind of a light, right? Oh, see, I missed it. You guys can see this also at the same time. So now I'm in second gear. I'm gonna try and half shift down into neutral. There we go. So we got into neutral, as you guys can see right there. So we're in neutral. So like I said, I can either pull up into second or go down into first from here. But if you're coming to a stop and you don't need to go into first and you're basically like coming to a stop and you're in second gear, you can half shift from second into neutral. Or if you're in first gear, like I was just doing, riding around in first, you can half shift from first up into neutral. Yeah, I keep on missing it on the up. All right, so down into first, half shift. Oh man, I can't, <laughs> sometimes that happens with bikes. Also, if you're having trouble finding neutral, sometimes it helps to rock the bike back and forth, right? So that's what I'm gonna try real quick. I'll try moving it while up shifting. There we go, see? Did the half shift up from first gear into neutral while I was moving the bike, it helped it to find neutral easier. If you guys have any questions at all, be sure to post them. I'll try to get to them, read them, and uh, answer, hopefully clarifying some of this stuff. But I'm hoping this is making sense to you guys. And I'm hoping you can kind of see like when I'm pulling back on throttle, using the clutch lever and all that stuff. I know this little zip tie probably isn't the best. I apologize. I'm just gonna do this slowly. All right, in first gear, rolling back on throttle, off throttle, on clutch, up shift, back on throttle, off of clutch. And you do these two very smoothly. Like I said, it's a relationship. You're not just gonna like do it really fast, obviously until you've gotten like comfortable with it, but it's just very smooth, right? So off throttle, on clutch, up shift. my fingers up so that you guys can see like whenever they're down I'm grabbing clutch whenever they're up I'm letting off a clutch just because I don't think that zip tie is going to be the best like visual aid let's try to angle the camera a little bit so you guys can see it all If I don't get back on clutch, I'm gonna stall out. So I'm in first gear, I'm stopped. I'm, you know, in first gear, holding the clutch in. There's no, not really any cars behind me, so I'm gonna upshift into neutral, and you can just sit and relax. Keeping an eye on mirrors, though. You guys always gotta keep an eye on your mirrors, especially if you live in like a city environment, you know? You never know. I've had friends rear-ended. Actually, I had some friends rear-ended just like two weeks ago. It wasn't bad or anything, but it's just one of those safety tips. If you're learning how to ride a motorcycle, I always say you gotta be vigilant. You gotta keep your head on a swivel. So here's what I'll do. Whenever I'm off of clutch, I'll do this. Whenever I'm off throttle, I'll take my hand off the throttle. That's 
engine braking. As you're downshifting, like I've said it a couple times, the bike will basically push you back. But we're going to speed it up a little bit. So you see, I'm doing everything in the same formula, right? Like in the exact same order every time. We're just speeding it up a little bit. So you're speeding it up a little bit, and that's how you basically get through the gears faster. All right, so I downshifted, or half half downshifted from second into neutral. So that's why I'm in neutral right now. Car behind me, confirming that they're stopping. Otherwise, I'm sitting here, hands on controls, and I'm ready to go into first. It's not a good habit to do that, right? You want to keep it in first gear until the car behind you is confirmed stopped. Do as I say, not as I do. Also, you should be wearing gear. I think in the last two videos I did, but it's hot, it's Florida. If I'm coming to a stop here, I'm in fifth gear, I've got this question a lot. If I wanna downshift into like second gear, yes, I do have to go through those, but I don't have to release the clutch every time, right? So I'll show you guys right now. So I'm in fifth gear, right? But I wanna probably go down to like second gear, right? So I'm gonna pull clutch in, get off throttle, one, two, three, right? So I went five from five to four, three, two, right? So now I'm in second gear. And I'm accelerating. That was the speed that I needed to be in coming out of that turn. Yeah, hopefully I'm explaining it well. Hopefully I'm communicating it right that you guys are able to understand. Yeah, check out the MSF course. Uh, read through, you know, the, uh, the documentation, the paperwork and all that. The book and it'll definitely help to explain all of what I'm trying to explain. That's it. That's pretty much shifting. So yeah, basically getting through the gears, it's all an equation. In order to shift, the basis of it is you come off the throttle, you let go of the throttle to zero throttle position, right? You don't want to be pulling back on throttle at all. You're pulling the clutch in to basically manipulate those clutch plates. If you guys want to know how the clutch works, you know, Google it. Maybe I'll be able to find a video and I'll drop it down in the description below. You don't want there to be any load on the engine while you're shifting because that'll basically start to, it'll grind your clutch. You'll basically hear like this sound. Uh, it's, I, I don't even want to do it. I know the last time around in one of the videos, I showed you guys what bogging the engine was. I also showed you guys what stalling out was, but I do not want to grind my transmission just because it's, I mean, it's really not good for it. That's the equation right there is like to, to shift up or to shift down let off of the throttle, pull back on the clutch lever, and then shift. And then slowly roll back on the throttle while you're slowly letting out on the clutch. It's the same equation, shifting up, shifting down, through every gear. Back on throttle, off of clutch, off of throttle, on clutch, shifting up, back on throttle, slowly, smoothly, off of, off of clutch. Every single time it's smooth. Right? Smooth, smooth, smooth. Just think smooth like that every time. Like I said, it's it's that relationship right there. We did that like in the second video. A lot of you guys said you feel like jackasses. I mean, that's that's it. You know, back. All right, so I'll show you right here. See? And downshifting, it's the same thing. what I'm talking about that's that's the motion and you're just doing it smoothly right you can do it slowly you can do it quickly and in between while you have the clutch lever in you're shifting gears so you're only shifting gears while that clutch lever is in so in shift in shift in shift in downshift in downshift in downshift and in between all that is whenever you're using your throttle in upshift using throttle in upshift using throttle in upshift using throttle Ooh, they got barbecue that is basically stripped back as much as i can make it and explain it in downshift using throttle in downshift using throttle in downshift use your throttle you don't have to use throttle in between every single one of them like i said you can pull in and downshift so like right now i'll leave it i'm in fifth gear i'm bogging 
So I'll leave it in fifth gear and I'll come to a complete stop. Oh man, it's really hard. I'm, I'm fighting my muscle memory right now not to downshift. Okay, so there's like no way that I'd be able to go from here. Like I have the clutch in and that's the only reason the bike isn't stalling. But if I start revving up and I'm still in fifth gear, like the bike is not gonna wanna go. Yeah, you see, you hear how it's dipping like really down low? I'd have to rev the hell out of it in order to get it to go in fifth. And I mean, this is bad for your transmission too. You hear that? It's, yeah, that's lugging the hell out of it. So yeah, you can be in fifth gear and then just downshift into whatever gear that you need to be in, right? So I'm in fifth, I've got clutch in, four, three, two, one. So now I'm in first gear. And we're good to go again. So I'm gonna shift up to fifth. Right, so I'm in fifth now. Ugh, dude, you hear that? It just sounds terrible. So I'm in fifth. Now I can downshift into second gear as well. Like I would be good in second gear right here. So five, four, three, two. And I'm good. That's it. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I hope I still have y'all's vote of confidence and I have not failed y'all. <laughs> I don't really know much more that I can explain with it. You guys just watch through this video, slow it down if you need to. I know YouTube has that feature where you can basically like slow stuff down. If you have any questions, like I said, be sure to post them down in the comments below. Go at your own pace. Don't let anybody rush you slowly ease into the world of motorcycling because it's hella fun man that adrenaline rush whenever you're like oh, just puts a big smile on your face love it if you guys want to get in on possibly winning a motorcycle join patreon it's basically a way for uh, people to go beyond that subscribe button if you guys appreciate the videos if you appreciate the content awesome community and uh, we do giveaways every now and then of like helmets or Santa communicators, Bluetooth stuff, GoPros. And then the big giveaway that happens, you know, I'd say every six months or so is uh, a motorcycle, basically a customized blockhead motorcycle. But yeah, if you guys are interested in joining in on that, join in patreon.com slash blockhead moto. Like I said, I highly recommend you guys going and checking out the MSF course. That's the biggest piece of advice. Links down in the description below. Anyways, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button for more motorcycle content. Hit that bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.